Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If yeah, this is your first time here at my channel, welcome to my channel. And uh, I start out this channel before just right before I uh, retire just to cuz I was going to travel the United States in my little my own little custom built uh minivan camper. So my friend can follow and kind of watch my journey that I'm planning on uh, travel the whole USA, the whole uh, low 49 state. I mean, I've been to a lot, being military, I've been to a lot of state before, but uh, I didn't, I didn't travel and see the whole state wherever I, am, I, I was at. So let's get, if you want to know a little bit more about myself, I will give you a link up somewhere, somewhere up here. It's all about myself uh, playlist. And let's get to it. So this vehicle is a 1999 Toyota Sienna. I bought this used with uh, around 2300 bucks with 192,000 miles on it. So you know she's very old. Oh, by the way, her name is, I just named her Sally Sienna. And you know, she's old. So you know, uh, this vehicle have a timing bells so it requires service every 90,000. So when I bought this, I already knew that I had to change out a timing belt. But I did that myself, so I saved a lot of money. You know, normally the job, when with this type of engine, you will need to change the timing belt and the water pump at the same time. So that will run you between $700 to $1,000, depending on who, who's doing the job. But I, since I did it myself, part itself is like $150, but it did take me almost a whole day because it, it was my first time in my life I would I ever do the timing belt job like this. But with the right tool and, you know, some uh, persevering, you know, you will get it done. Plus on YouTube nowadays, there's all kind of tutorial that you can watch and get to get it done. But anyway, let's start with the vehicle itself first. All right, let's go to the engine. All right, let's start off with, uh, I'm not going to talk about the engine and all the work I do on this car. If you want to know more about it, I have a playlist on that on my channel also. I'm probably going to put it up there somewhere up here. Anyway, start off, I uh, hook up the uh, power inverter that go from 12 volt to 120 volt. So in order to do that, I run this wire going through a, a fuse, 60 amp fuse. Cause you know, I run this like down into the engine and under the carrier and then go up to the vehicle again. I will show you where it come in. All right. So it came under here somewhere and then come up here and over there. And I will show you on the other side. But before I'm gonna take you to where my power system is. Let's go through here right here. So this is pretty much gonna be my uh, setup. So when I design this, I'm designing in such a way that I can comfortably have two people sit in the front. The way it is, it will stay like that. And right now I'm just put the water bottle. This is a like six gallon bottle of water that I will put there because right now I'm just gonna travel by myself. So I'm gonna leave my bottle of water right here. But when I, I do get to the destination and then I will move this inside and it's going to stay here and then I will use it as my water supply. All right. So let's go through this here. I built, this is a, a rather small minivan compared to other minivan because the first generation Toyota Sienna. So they, they, they literally take a, a, a platform from the Camry and make it a high roof and a little bit tweak here and there and then build it to the minivan because they need to compete with Honda and other uh, minivan manufacturer. So anyway, I build a custom build this partition so I can gain some storage, vertical storage. So right now, so, and it's also function as a, a divider and, you know, keep it cozy inside. So I, I put the, um, I build this uh, 
curtain by using the uh, metal snap. Anything I show here, I will put it in the description, the link to Amazon for stuff that I bought. So let me take this out. So you see, see it, it covered very well. See, and I can access to the front through here if I had to bail out. So let's go through each, uh, each part of the van. So I kind of divide everything into section. Right now, what you're looking at is a portable uh, toilet, which is uh, sold on Amazon. I think it's about 15 bucks. This is only used for emergency. My plan is not to use these at all, but if I have to, then I have it. You know, it's better to have it than not have it. We saw my emergency toilet. But so normally, if I'm going to be on the national <clears throat> park, I'm going to try to go outside. So this is the tool that I'm going to use. It's a small. solver that you can use to dig hole so you can do number two hold on here so let's say you're gonna want to use it as a shovel That's a solver. Dick, dick and do your business. Or you can use this uh, to dig something. Let's say your vehicle got stuck. You can use this as a, what do you call it? To dig yourself out like this. You know, dig it out. And then when I'm done, put it back into the bag and put it away. Since everything is pretty much jam packed in here, so I'm gonna go through whatever I can get to first. All right. The front here is gonna pretty much be my uh, kitchen and power supply system here. So I like drinking tea, so I brought in a thermos. Thermo, uh, this one, it can hold up uh, hot water for almost a whole day, a couple of days even. Got my rice cooker, my cook set. This one I had it when I, I uh, go camping with my friends. There's enough stuff in here like to do all kind of cooking. So that's my cooking stuff. That's my rice cooker. My kettle. I know, it's big. But you know what? I use what I already have, so why waste money, right? Plus, that's why I use the thermal. I cook, I, I boil it once, put it in thermal, and that way I could have hot water all day long. Rice cooker. So with this, let me go in here. Remember that when I uh, show you where I hook up the berry, it will go here. See right now, you can see Seem like it's, oh, you know why it says we draw in 31 what? Okay, right now look, it's on. If I unplug this, you will see that the power inverter won't show 31. All right, stand by. See, when I unplug it, now it's read zero. But if I plug it in, it will read 31. What? Be in a warm mode. Right. This one used 30, 300 watt rice cooker. And I already test this out. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook rice. So while I'm driving on the road, I will cook rice while I'm driving. Because this hook directly into the battery in the front. So you don't want to use the battery alone. So you want to use when the engine's running. I will put a link to everything that I, I show you right here. So to turn it up, you hold it down. Now it's off. All right, this is my power supply. 
Uh, you all probably know this is a Jackery 240. So it's going to be my main power supply. To get it, uh, it's going to be uh, charged by the plug over there, the cigarette that go from there to the... See, that one will give me two outlets for the cigarette lighter and a USB. And then go here. And this will plug in here. So whenever the vehicle is running, it will charge this. So right now, I'm not going to leave it plugged in. Right now, I already turned it on. Because right now, I'm hooking up my light into this. So this will be my power supply. I can use to charge my laptop, my phone, and everything. All right. Right now, it's uh, a little bit past noon outside. But this is how it looks when all the curtain is covered up. All right. Somehow, it show a little bit light in here, but it's pretty dark in here. I think the camera adjusts itself to make it look so bright. But I'm, I'm, I, I guarantee it's dark in here. So that's the curtain system. So what I did was uh, I used a snap button also, just like the front. Right? Pretty easy to get, get it down and up. After I, uh, let me show you the light. The lighting system here. All right. I just want to show you how bright it is. So my lighting system is going to be this thing here. This used, uh, it have a, uh, hand to hold a phone also so there's a switch right here see now you can see it's bright in here huh this thing is adjustable and you can change the color also see how dim I dimp it right now it's not that bright See, brighter, brighter, change the color, that's the warm color, bright color, you're going to dimp it, I'm going to dimp it here, see, dimp it, that's change color, All right, turn off, so that's my lighting system. So to keep cool, I use this uh, fan. Right now I'm using battery, but I can use a uh, rechargeable battery. This thing have multiple function. It have a light in it, light. Fan alone. So I already test this one out. It run eight hours using the Jackery 240 and it barely using like 15% for eight hours. I will put this on the description box also to link to it. All right. So we already went through my power system, my a uh, little bit of my cooking system, but uh, I will mainly using uh, using the electric to cook my rice. But majority of the stuff will be using um, I will be using the pop uh, butane system which is this right here. So you asked me, where do I put it to cook, right? Hold on here. This will be my uh, combination is a cooking platform and desk. Let me see if I can do it one hand over here. Yep, 
that's my uh, desk, cooking table, dining table. So let's go inside. So when I need to cook something, it will be right here. All right. So I don't plan to cook too much inside the vehicle. I would try to cook outside, but uh, the only time I would do is uh, boiling water inside a vehicle. But if I had to, if in the rainy day, I would do it. Probably lower it down a little bit lower. Way low. That's why I want to use this as a adjustable cell. I will show you this function is in another function a little bit later on here. That's why I like to use the adjustable system here. Okay, I want to show you something else too. So let's say if I cook inside, so there's a chance of it's flashing all over the place, right? There you go. Like I said, I will post everything in the description box. So check it out in the description box. Since I already had this thing out, I'm going to show you. Another function that this one uses is to support this piece, additional piece that I can put in to convert into a full side bed for two people to slip in. You can see it from this back. So you can convert this setup into two person uh, sleeping bed, bed platform. All right. So. I build this so it support the if you haven't noticed down here is a 20 inch folding bike and that's where it's gonna stay of course this is, you can lift it up I will show you what it does a little bit later on so right here I build a little vertical at first I was gonna do use this as a hang in my coat but I think I'm gonna divide it in a half and become a, my uh, spy rack, food, dry food, whatever. And I'm gonna store that uh, <clears throat> right here. Is uh, right now I'm just put a little um, first aid kit right there and the spare butane stove for now. So let's move on to the next one. The floor is made from uh, vinyl flooring. I think I bought a box for like $12, but I only used like half a box just to keep it clean, you know. But I said none of these are permanent. I mean, I can remove. I will put a link up here to show you uh, how everything go in together. But let's go over to the next one here. So this is blank space, right? So I probably gonna use, build some uh, storage up here later on. Right now I have a thermometer there. I have a, let me see, it's hidden over here. My CO2, um, and carbon monoxide detector. Also, I need to buy a, a fire extinguisher and a fire a smoke detector. That way, you know, if, there's a fire going on, and I know during the night. And you see my uh, my power system very low power, so we, I don't plan on have a fridge in here. So this is gonna be uh, my cooler, lightweight. Like I said my uh, my purpose of building this is lightweight as possible, as cheap possible. I think the whole setup I build maybe about three hundred bucks total for material and and curtain and all that stuff. So this will be storing uh, whenever uh, I can get the uh, meat and fruit and I will get eyes to go with it. 
and I will consume that. And once it's run out, and I go to use my dry food instead, you know. So that's that's gonna be my food pantry. So my bed, you already see that this is my bed. So under here, under this bed is storage. So this is pretty much my closet. Right now, there's two boxes in here. One is uh, for un for undershirt and underwear, and the other one's uh, short and pan. Believe me, it's in there. Let me see. I don't want you guys see. I got two pair of uh, pan and two pair of short in there, and a pair of uh, up uh warm suit in here that's all underwear and um and shirt uh, undershirt enough should be these two this should be enough for two weeks of undershirt and underwear and this is my duffel bag for my military in case if something wrong with this vehicle and i have to abandon the vehicle all my clothes will fit in here so I can I can carry it. this is a actually a they call it a duffel bag but you can carry it as a backpack it's a huge backpack. As you see, I can have more space up here. Then I can put the like coat, thick coat or something like that. But check this out. More stories here which I haven't heard like yes. So before I move into the back, I guess I can call that the garage back there. I'm gonna show you what this can do, all right? Stand by. I'm gonna put you down. This will convert into a lab. Turn into a lounge chair now. Let me take you to the back. You can see, I can chill, sit here, looking out the ocean. If I park my uh, rear into looking out to the ocean or whatever, the lake or whatever. All right? All right, now let's look from the rear here. So the rear, you can look, it just uh, swing up also. Let me see, let me put it here. They both can uh, come up. I mean, right now I use one, but if I'm gonna use it and sit, I have to put two. Right now is my I'm putting my uh, this is a three man, actually four person tent. So why I bring a tent? Because some campground they require you to have a tent, so you have to have a tent to set up, even though you sleep in your van, right? So let me take you in the front and see what this looks like. See, you can sit back this way. If you want to chill and watch movie in here, just lie a lounge here. All right, let's check out what's back here. This pretty much be my garage. So it'll be my tool. This is my air pump. This is my emergency uh, jump uh, battery. Like I said, I will put everything that I show you here in the description box. Let's say you got stranded somewhere and your battery won't start. You can use this to jump your battery. Pretty neat. This is another power, power inverter. It's only 200 watt though. 
in case the other one fail, I at least can use this to charge my uh, all my electronic equipment. This is a butane. This should last me a, year, a month if it's going to be by myself. If I need more, I just bring two of these. That's eight. This will be uh, my, uh, let me show you where it's going to go. See the rack up there? I will use this. Like I said, the snap button over there. I will use that, put a couple snap up here and then have this hook up to that. And using this, this is a walking stick. Even though it's a walking stick, you can make it into a, a pole to support the, the awning. So it's going to be a, a built uh, awning from the entry here whenever I go in and out. So I'm going to build an awning using the walking stick and the, that uh, plastic, uh, this plastic uh, piece here. Always have some extra string. It's always important to have string. That's pretty much it, guy. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, uh, one of those small uh, heater that use propane. If it's too cold, then I can probably use that to warm up in the morning. I'm not gonna sleep with this on, but only when I work on it. This is uh, one of those wood burning uh, stove, rocket stove. I have a video on this also, so check it on my uh, my playlist. In case uh, I ran out of uh, butane, then I can use that. Cause you can use uh, small twig and small branches to burn and cook your your stuff. Well, there it is, you guys. This my my van is pretty much done. So I'm ready to take a trip right now. So if uh, you have any suggestion or whatever you think I'm missing. Put it down in the comment. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. And if you like to continue to watch uh, what adventure is coming on my uh, trip, please subscribe. And then uh, I would I will try to post this every week wherever I'm going. I'm try to put once a week. Don't know what day you know of the week yet, but uh, more to come. I, I I already have in my mind what. Uh, the only thing missing is uh, how to wash dishes. I'm going to keep it minimal, you know. I'm going to get one of those plastic bin, use the water, and dump it out. So, okay, this is a small van. You can't be having everything in here, inside. So, you know, sometimes less is more. More is less, you know. But anyway, give me any suggestion you guys have that I need to bring, you know, for a long trip. I'm about to do a short trip. I was gonna go do a, a trip to uh, the Death Valley, but I guess they closed right now. So I'm gonna have to do uh, something else. But uh, if you wanna follow along my journey, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and I see you on the next video. Bye now.